A lone explorer named Arnie Sacknusson made a fantastic descent of the fabled lost kingdom of Atlantis at the Earth's core. After many centuries, his trail was discovered, first by me, Professor Oliver Lindenbrook, my niece Cindy, student Alec McEwen, our guide Lars, and his duck, Gertrude. But we were not alone. The evil Count Sacknusson, last descendant of the once noble Sacknusson family, had followed us to claim the center of the Earth for his power mat scheme. He ordered his brute-like servant, Tor, to destroy our party. But the plan backfired, sealing the entrance forever. And so for us began a desperate race to the Earth's core to learn the secret of the way back. This is the story of our new journey to the center of the Earth. I'm not sure. It looks almost human. Remember, I said almost. Yeah, it could ding be see it before it see us. I tell you that. Well, what now? Do we have to go all the way back up there? Perhaps not, Cindy. Remember that crevice we passed a little back? If we're lucky, it just might be a way around. We'll try it anyway. Blast those rocks! Why couldn't my beloved ancestor have found an easier way? Count Sacknusem, Lindenbrook, they go down hole. So they are. Probably at another one of Professor Lindenbrook's scientific sidetrips. <laughs> they say everything that goes up must come down. But everything that goes down doesn't always come back up. <laughs> That's some drop. Maybe we find center of Earth down there. I just hope we find the bottom of this hole. And soon. Ha <laughs> <laughs> splendid. We are completely defenseless. Now, Lindenbrook, you shall pay the price for trying to deprive Count Sacknusson of his treasures. Bury them, Tog. Is everyone all right? Yeah, we are fine. A few rocks do not hurt us. What started it, Uncle Oliver? You mean, who started it? We keep going, Professor? We haven't much choice, Lars. But at least we're safe. There's no danger of anything attacking us for a while. Look there! It's still there, Professor. Well, we'll just have to go deeper. Deeper? But first, we'll take a rest. You know, I've got the strangest feeling someone's watching us. Oh, do not make fun. We see stranger things than that already. You're certainly right there, Lars. Come on, let's get going.
All right, now it's my turn. And mine. Hold it, Lars, they're gone. Boy, first giants and then these, whatever they were. If I didn't feel like a pincushion, I wouldn't believe it. Yeah, me neither. Ouch! Why did they attack us, Uncle Oliver? We weren't doing anything to them. I wish I knew. But let's stop talking and climb down from here. Start searching for him. <laughs> Don't worry, Gertrude. We'll find him. Let's get going. Alec, you wait here with Cindy. I'm going to scout around. Can't see much. There's one of those strange little people who attacked us on the cliff. They're like steel wires. Can't seem to break through. Listen, whoever you are. Gosh, Uncle Oliver's been gone a long time. Do you think something's happened to him? I don't know. Are you scared, Alec? Me? No. There's nothing to be scared of. We're perfectly safe. <laughs> Oh, 
Newsom was here. Could this be Atlantis? Professor Lindenbrook. We are searching for the trail to the center of the Earth. They are asking about the trail, I think. I can't hear. 
We can't let Lindenbrook gain an advantage. The giant is still the way to stop them. Oh, a capital idea, Tor. Yes. These letters on the cart. We have followed signs like this from the upper world. Does this mean we are near Atlantis? The center of the Earth? No, this is but the land of the giant. We are from across the great water. We were swept here by the wind. But this cart? We fashioned it in the cave of the sea from timbers brought by the currents. Take us to the cave and those sea currents. That's the trail we must follow. Confound it! We have to delay them, Torg, and find that cave first. Yes. Yeah. And let the giant end their trail here. The cave. Uh, help us find it, little friend. And we'll help you get back to your homes. That should not be difficult. With the giant defeated, we have only his beast to worry about. Professor, look! The giant! He's gone! This rope's been cut. But who? Count Sacknusum. That means we better move fast. Let's get to that cave of the sea while we still have a chance. Come, it's not far. Talk about driftwood, wow! I wonder if any of it's from Atlantis. You two give Lars and the little people a hand with the rafts. I'm going to look around. There's something. It's gunpowder. Professor, he's the giant. Or something just as big. He's the beast. He won't be able to get through this tangle of driftwood. We hope. <laughs> Flames. It's an inferno. Hurry, Professor. We are ready. Look there. Sacknus. <laughs> Must be going. But which direction? We have heard of a city that lies beyond the glowing light. Perhaps you'll find the end of your journey there. Yeah, I bet hope you're right. But the Count and his servant will help you reach your homeland. Blast you, Lindenbrook. I'll catch up with you and exact my revenge. Oh, 
watch these exciting scenes from future episodes of the all-new Journey to the Center of the Earth.